this John Deere 7200 no-till. Not sure what year it is that I bought used. Last year while I was planting one of the gauge wheels, you're looking at the back of the other gauge wheel here. And there was a gauge wheel on this. It fell off in the field. And now I have to replace the guts inside of the gauge wheel and put it back on this peg. And I'm going to take this arm off right here, right now. Take the wheel apart. It's like an aircraft wheel or like a planter wheel. Two halves, you unbolt it. There's a rubber tire basically around the outside. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that now. So. I had a 3 8 breaker bar on here, wouldn't break it loose, but the Milwaukee big gun, I know, using the wrong type of socket, I got it reduced down to 3 8 drive, but uh, broke it loose, took the third setting, so there was a lot of foot pounds going on there, but got it broke loose now. So this bolt was 18 millimeter on that head that holds this. Uh, retaining, I don't know what you want to call it. It's the bolt that holds the arm on. It's an uh, inch and three eighths works on here pretty well. There is, it's not torqued. So I can't do this with two hands. I'm gonna go ahead and twist it out, but it wasn't even. It it's not tight. All right. So once you get this, which isn't tight and it's grease, so that's nice. All the way off, like so. Then, so that goes over this in between your arm. There you go. Probably should have grease on it. I don't know. So now we got the arm off. Clean it up. All right, now I'm going to take these three and these four bolts out. They go through. It's a split rim. So you'll have to put a wrench on the other side and hold it take those apart and then you'll be able to split the wheel from this tire on the gauge wheel rubber and uh get it apart to replace your 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 bearing thing all right i got all the hardware out i kept my four together there my three there they look the same they're all the same size so it doesn't matter I keep it separated so it goes back in the same spot in case it's a different length. Half inch, both sides. Right now, the wheel can separate and the rubber will come off. Um, I'm going to try to pry at it with a screwdriver. I'm not sure on how it comes apart yet. Worst case scenario, I can put a punch down through here and hit it. So I just took my screwdriver and just got the lip and pried it up around and she's apart now. I just have to make sure I got the right bearing that goes in there. I was thinking they gave me the wrong part because I thought this mounted on here, but that's gonna need replaced. I'm pretty sure that is the stem of the, the bearing. So here's a new bearing. I'm not sure that I have the right one, but if you put that in there, they're about the same length so you pull this out and I'm pretty sure this goes in here like so and then this will be trapped in your wheel make sure you pay attention to your the the tire that's on the wheel make sure your the orientation is correct so you want to put it back together the right way and this rubber is only designed of course to go one way on it uh, when you pull the wheel off, this one's all corroded in here. I might uh, spray it down with some WD-40 just to kind of help the corrosion. Maybe, uh, I mean, you could take a wire brush to it, clean it up, whatever, but uh, it'll still serve its purpose. You won't have to take the other side out, so you can just pop the one side, I'm pretty sure. And uh, here's the re remnants of my old bearing. I'm gonna have to smack that probably with a hammer. This is pretty seized on there, so it does resemble the new one. And uh, we should have a we should be back in business soon. 
All right, so put this in a vise. I used a pipe wrench because one of my workers ran off with my larger crescent wrench. The pipe wrench worked great. It took a lot of muscle to get this off. It was pretty tight. So loosen it up. You probably don't even have to take it all the way out because all it does is push goes into this groove. You'll see a groove on here. Yeah, it's pretty seized up, so I'll have to probably put the pipe wrench on there and work it out. All right, so we just put this in the vise here and you just smack it down through. the part number of the bearing this Make sure your holes line up, of course, you'll know putting the bolts in. Make sure the stem is on the lip side. All right, you go around a couple times, make sure everything's tight. You can see our new bearing in there them out the back. Back is the lip side. Then you take your arm that goes on the planner. Just sticking out just a little bit, eighth inch. back on after replacing the bearing it's getting dark so I'm using a tripod Milwaukee light um, first things first this how's this go we have to thread this back in 
to here. Sorry if you can't see. So you thread this in. And then once you thread that in there, slides on here. You gotta make sure that the lip of the gauge wheel goes over top to set your set your depth. The gauge wheel rides on this right here, so you gotta make sure it's over that. Push it all the way on, which I have not yet. There it goes. All right. This is a uh, inch and inch and three eighths to get on that. You got eighteen eighteen millimeter on this bolt and washer, which go on here. Just gotta make sure this is seated all the way, which. Still doesn't look like it is. Maybe this bolt and washer will tighten it up. So you just gotta check your clearance basically, make sure that tire's not that rubber's not rubbing on the planter. That spacing looks like the other ones. Just a little bit of gap in the back. Tighten this down. That can't loose because this goes internal on the that spindle, that shaft. So that goes in. That holds everything on. Then we're gonna go ahead. Nice and tight. All right, then I'm gonna grease it. New grease. All right, that completes the install on the uh, seed gauge wheel. So if you have to rebuild a bearing, it's pretty simple, but that's how it comes apart. See that field turn those rustling seeds go yeah, plan to the end of the